Good morning and welcome to the channel. It has been a little bit of time since I last recorded a video, so to give you a quick rundown of what's happened, if you haven't seen the last video, which was an update video, we've got the solar installed along with the, the panels and the system for it. We've got the blown in insulation in the attic done. We've got the well drilled and I have the drywall done and the first coat of mud done in this main area. Spin you around. So in today's video, I'll probably do the second coat of mud on the walls and uh, the flats, screw heads, and inside corners. The inside corners always take the longest to dry just because air doesn't circulate into that corner. They were still wet actually three or four days later. Should be dry now, but it took a while for those to dry out. Hopefully I can do those. I'll probably leave the ceiling until tomorrow. Not sure if it will be a part of this video or not, depending on how long it is. And then I might do the second coat of mud in that alcove where that red mud is, which will be in a separate video altogether, where, and I'll be using blue mud for that probably. But as for today, mix up some mud, start on these flats, and check the inside corners to see if they're dry. Let's go. Really, for this entire first coat, what I'll need is just this 14 inch curve trowel. You probably can't see the curve on it, but there's a bit of a dip in it. And that will be to go over my flats, as well as like the few butt seams I do have. I'll use this. And then I'll use my four inch knife to go on the inside corners. I'll just give you a little rundown about what we have going on here. So for my inside corners, I put a layer of mud, embedded my tape, and then did one side of that tape, like this, which is technically part of the second coat. So to complete my second coat, I'll do this side of the tape, which is still exposed, make sure it's covered. And then for my flats was basically the same thing. I laid a layer of mud, embedded my tape into it, and then went over it again. I used a flat to go over it. I could have used a curve. But anyways, in the second coat of mud for it, I'll use a 14 inch curve and go over it. And then for my screw heads, I just used my four inch knife, wiped it on, wiped it off basically. So what we're trying to achieve in general is just a smooth finished wall surface. So there's definitely a few different ways you can go about getting that finish. The inside corners pretty much stay, stay the same for the most part, but then there's little tweaks you can make along the way depending on a few different factors. But if you want to know more about that, then feel free to click through to my how-to videos that will be coming out, and I'll go a little more in-depth there about that if you are interested. But this video will be more fun and lighthearted. yay! <laughs> so let's get my mud, start mixing. I put my mud in a bucket rather than leaving it in the bag because the bag tends to dry out on the edges and then little bits of dried mud fall into your wet mud and make it pretty terrible to spread on the walls when you have clumps of dried mud in, the, in there. So get out of the bucket, get my little side tool belt here, pretty much always stays on me no matter what the job is and what's in it pretty much stays the same, except I have a spoon in it this time. <laughs> I used this to embed my off angle into the mud. I won't need it now though. So recycling. and we're pretty much ready to go. And what I'm trying to achieve with the 14 inch curve, because I went over this with the flat and because there's moisture in the mud, it tends to shrink when it, when it dries out. So I'm gonna go over it with a 14 inch flat, 
which creates a slight hump in the mud. And by the time it dries, hopefully there is still a bit of a hump where my third coat I'll go over with a 14 inch flat trowel and taper it off on either side, make it flat. But for this coat, it's pretty easy. I just go over it with the 14 inch flat. I could have done that in my first coat, but I didn't. So we're gonna do it in this coat. Just make sure there's no high points. Put my mud on my trowel, like so. This mud is a little runnier, because it's actually machine mud. But, just means it spreads a little easier. Clean up these edges. And that's the first coat on the flats done. It looks pretty smooth, but it will shrink again in recess, showing some imperfections. So we will go over it with a 14 inch flat, not curve, going off the high point of the hump to wherever it meets the drywall and just feather it out a little more. And that means there's gonna be less standing in the sanding stage, which is a good thing. So I've done this flat, this side. Now I'm gonna do this one and the inside corner. The tape is to cover a receptacle box so I don't fill it up with mud, just for the sake of the electrician. <laughs> and for me, because I'd be the one cleaning it out, so. The only reason this drywall is green is because it was for the bathroom, moisture resistant, and I wanted to use up my scraps, so I put it there. It's the same stuff, a little more expensive though. Well, I shouldn't say it's the same stuff, it's moisture resistant stuff, so it's better, I guess. Didn't want it to go to waste. So now that I've done that flat, I can do my inside corner here. This wall is done, so I'm gonna go over here and do the gable end. These seams are all vertical because it's just easier for one person to stand them up vertically. Normally I prefer going horizontal with them for a few different reasons, but it's okay if they do go vertically. It's just more awkward to mud, really. So that does it for this whole gable end. I've done the flats, the inside corners. I could have and maybe should have done the screws right away too, but I wanna make sure I can get all this thicker mud on first so I'm not hung up on drying time for my next coat. So I'll just carry on and do this study room area.
side corner is done. I'm not going to do this side, the outside of this end wall, because I applied the mud pretty thick there, it's actually still drying. And just like that, this study room is done. So I'm gonna carry on with the opposite side of this wall and push myself this way. That wall is done, yay. I'm gonna carry on and uh, report back to you in a few seconds. All right, I got most of that second coat on. I ended up doing all the screw heads as well as the ceiling ones, so, that, so that's pretty good. Um, I still have to do the ceiling flats, which will be tomorrow, and then I'll probably end up doing that colored section over there for the other video I'm gonna make. So we're looking in pretty good shape, hopefully, by the beginning of next week, it's almost the weekend now, but the beginning of next week, I can come back do the third and final coat, and then soon sand after that. So we're looking in pretty good shape. That's gonna do it for this video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.